Yes, low. If you see me sitting right here, you know I got a motherfucking story to tell. This is a story to tell, Eric. You hear me? Story to tell. STT. This is the STT, Eric. Story. Wait for the ambulance to go back. This is the STT, Eric. Back with enough. I got a lot of these motherfuckers. I got a whole bunch of these motherfuckers. And they just keep on driving past. What the fuck emergencies is going on at 3 o'clock? Somebody probably crashed trying to drive fast on some bullshit. You ain't got to drive that fast. Now you got the fire truck, EMS, EMT. EDD, everybody trying to come save you. They real life killing the guy. Damn, so. Fucking up my story time, Slim. This episode of Story Time, we gonna talk about when I got shot with a BB gun. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm an I'm a adult now. I get shot with a BB gun. I eat that motherfucker like Captain Crunch. But I was a kid back then. I was in like fourth grade when I got hit with that metal ass shit up under my arm. I thought I really got my ass hit up. I'm like, God, damn, I had just got out of school. I'm walking home with my man, my good man, Toby. Everybody had a good man, good African man named Toby. I don't care if it was in elementary school, middle school, high school, college. Wherever, trade school, fuck, ICDC, you knew a nigga named Toby. We all know a nigga named Toby. We got damn walking from school. Now, the school, my crib was like 15 minutes from the school. So I was walking to and from school every day. You know what I'm saying? I ain't need no bus, none of that shit. I'm real live. It's raining my motherfucking ass. It's storming my motherfucking ass. Like I was running home when it was storming. The rain, on the fast walk, storm. I'm running like shit. But we got down, walking from school, and we like we gonna stop at Bruh House. You know what I'm saying? I think Bruh name was Calvin. We gonna stop at Calvin House. Calvin, good man. We used to stay going over Calvin Jones. He had a Nintendo 64. We used to play the James Bond Gold Knight over that motherfucker. That's if you don't know nothing about the James Bond Gold Knight, you too young for this video. Tell you, Jane about <laughs> So yeah, we was gonna go over that motherfucker real quick, probably play the game for a little bit, chop it up and young how young niggas do. You know what I'm saying? Cal Cal was jack like a little older than I think he was in middle school. You know what I'm saying? I think I ain't even think I don't even think Toby went to school. I don't I ain't never seen Toby in the hallway. I don't know what the fuck or how the fuck or why the fuck. But Toby was a good man and nobody knew how old he was. But he was our age. My mother. I'm not lying. So we go to Calvin Jump. And we see a light-skinned nigga in the window. So we like, who the fuck is this? He all smiling and shit. He, he, he at the top floor of the house. He all, he, at, he in Calvin room. And we like, yeah, we, you, you know what I'm saying? We're Calvin and we, we, we try to holler at Calvin. He like this. He just like, well, y'all looking for Calvin. This nigga was old. This nigga had to be in high school. No bullshit. He off the Y'all looking for Calvin. Smiling like shit with his light skin. Y'all looking for Calvin. Y'all looking for Calvin. Yeah, we looking for Calvin. Motherfucker, how many times you gonna reiterate who we came and told you who we was looking for? God damn. So he's like, alright, I'm about to go get Calvin. So me and Toby, we waiting in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? Why he go get Calvin. This one shit get treacherous. Mind you, I'm in like fourth grade, my boy. I don't have no muscles for real. Bony as shit. Shirt flimsy as shit. I had a white tee on. No, I had a, I had a white tee. This is back where you would put the sweater on and put the white tee up under that motherfucker. 
Cause niggas, my body was too bony for a tank top. I was wearing white tees under my shirts. Bony bird chest ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I had the white tee on up under that motherfucker. Up under the sweat. Real loud thinking like, oh, he about to go get Calvin. You know what I'm saying? We about to probably play the game. This, that, and third. This light skin nigga probably retarded cause he had been smiling. We about to get Calvin. I'm like, fuck, whole time this nigga had a whole nother plot. I ain't about to go get Calvin. I'm about to go get Calibus. That boy went and came with some hash shit, and I ain't even see it coming. I see Toby look. He like, oh shit. Take off running. Now, Calvin, he had like a little cut in the back of his house. Like, you'll go through the cut. It was like a little church daycare right there. Boom. Go to the street. Our house was on. So, Toby got the fuck the other way. He ran the right way. He ran the way we came in, through the front of the house, you know what I'm saying, so that it's no vision. You can't see the way Calvin shit was set up. It was his window and, like, the backyard. You could only see the backyard. My dumb ass, my stupid ass, my non-hip, not being aware of what are going on, where are my surroundings ass. Go. See some shiny silver, silver shit getting pointed out the window. Silver black motherfucker look chrome. I'm like, ho. Oh, not the smartest apple in the bunch. But I do know that is a gun. I took off running. Well, I was. My shit looked like a major. Y'all remember when Neo, Morpheus told Neo to jump over the building and shit, free your mind, boy? I freed the shit out of my mind, boy. I was running like shit through the cut. My ass ain't know what was going on. But I seen what I saw, so I ran. And then pow! I just felt something just stinging. Just, it felt like a goddamn. I got hit with some. I don't know. It felt like a million bees just stung me right under my arm. All bucks start crying. It's fourth grade, bro. I don't know what no real pain feel like. I, I mean, I get my ass whooped all the time by the belt. That that was cool. But I real life, it's fourth grade, bro. I don't know what no real pain feel like, bro. I ain't ever felt no pain like that. I ain't never get hit up under my underarm with nothing. Damn sure not no metal BB. That motherfucker hurt. That motherfucker was stinging like shit. I don't fuck. I'm crying. <clears throat> I'm crying. The shit told me come around the corner like, bro, you ain't nine, 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 bro. That shot. That bro, they done hit me, bro. They done hit a nigga up, bro. This is gang retaliation. I don't know what's going. Gang initiation. This shit hurt. Some of the worst pain I ever felt as a child. That wasn't even the, the fucking worst part. Yeah, it was the most painful part. But it wasn't the worst part of the fucking story. So I go home. My cousin, who I was, who, who adopted me, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to my cousin Tang, you know what I'm saying? Great person. She was still at work. I go home, I hadn't seen the damage yet. So I take off the sweater. Like I said, I got the white tee under that junk because I was chanting. Whole sleeve. Off like from from here down was just covered in blood. I'm like, God damn, I feel like I got hit. I might be talking about this shit in the school department. Niggas try to smoke me though. I ain't go like that though. I'm a soldier. Real life. I'm like, I ain't telling nobody. I ain't telling on nobody. Real life. Took the shirt off, threw that bitch in the dumpster. We had a dumpster across the street from the crib. Real life. <laughs> Tossed the shirt in the dumpster. No evidence, no nothing. I go on about the rest of the day, cousin come home, all that. Everything peachy king until this shit happened. Now as a fourth grader, my cousin, she, she kept a real strict household, so I had bedtime. I had, think I had to go to bed like eight, nine o'clock. So I think I had just laid down, it was a couple minutes after my bedtime. You know these niggas, Toby and Calvin came to my motherfucking house. I hear these niggas knock on the door, my cousin knew Toby, cause he stayed around the corner. She knew I was always hanging with Toby. These niggas knock on the door asking for me. She like, he sleep. They like, oh, we just wanted to apologize. Ooh, I wasn't even gonna snitch. I don't know how shit. What you wanna apologize for? What are you talking about? Go home. Nobody gotta know. Wait, wait, I'm young as shit, I'm not spending nothing. Of course, my cousin, she like, apologize for what? This nigga, Calvin, 
Well, my friend shot him with a BB gun earlier. All hell broke loose. Hell has no fury like a woman's black woman scorn. I'm trying to, when she heard that shit, boy, I swear for Lord, she spat, shot with him, what? Man, get, get the fuck out of here. Wait, came in that jump, woke me up. Let me see, where you get shot at? Shoulder this, all that, and the third. She get to pulling on me and grabbing on me, like, why you ain't tell me nothing? I was like, damn, man. I realized, like, it slipped out, bro. And this how I knew my cousin was so pissed off at the fact that I was like, damn, man. She ain't even whoop my ass. She hit me with some Italian mob shit. Her motherfucking ass picked me up by the pajama shirt and pinned me on the door on some give me your lunch money type shit. She like, who is you talking to? Who? So strong though with the one arm. When she, when she kept it with the one arm, then was that so dangling like this? I said, oh hell no, I, I never. The, next time a nigga shoot me with a BB gun, I'm coming straight to my cousin Tan. Cousin Tan, you won't believe what the fuck just happened to me. <laughs>